We met a little boy and his dad out flying their first drone at this park we picked out to test the EX2 Mini with its um, replacement ESC board, so that was fun. So here's the two side by side, you can see the difference between the, uh, the board, the new board and the old board, if you have a quick look, and here we are taking off. The first mistake of the day I made was not to put the mat down underneath it, so as it took off it was throwing up uh, debris that was on the lens. This first uh, takeoff wasn't too bad, even so I'm flying with a slightly dirty lens. I noticed straight away that it seems to be more stable. There's no hint of the tail drop I get with the standard ESCs, so it seemed to fly smoothly and powerfully. Um, I'm using the camera that came with it, which is not a bad camera, it's got a narrow, narrow, very narrow field of view. I notice flying here, it's about the same field of view as the stabilized, electronically stabilized image that comes out of the Y1. Um, so most of the time I was flying it with OK. There's a slight breeze uh, blowing the way I was heading there into that corner of the park and I think that's got something to do with the incident that happened shortly. That and the restricted field of view of the uh, camera I'm using for F FPV. So coming in close to us for a view of a standing distance the shade of the shoulder shed. We're flying fairly early in the morning because it's a hot day. Look out! Post. Bit of, bit of a bang. So it was after some unplanned impact testing, I got it straight back in the air. That time you could see how, many muck, how much muck was thrown up on the lens of the camera and the uh, ND filter but uh, it didn't seem to be at all um, affected by that collision. Hopefully the foam surrounding the cinematic camera took the impact. But I was keen to get straight back up to see if I'd done any damage. Again, even with a dirty lens, the, the longer I was flying, the more comfortable I felt with it. And I'm flying with tiny batteries, they're about uh, 380 milliamp hour, they came, they're matched with the CineWoop that I'm still working with. Um, so this is the 850 milliamp hours that are standard, here's a nice pass through. Yeah, the 850, 850 milliamp hours that come standard with the EX2 Mini, but these batteries have a higher burst rate and of course they won't last long, so I'll be out looking for something more suitable once I've got a better feel for this. But so far I'm very happy with the modification. And I bought the other EX2 Mini with the original ESC boards in it and here it goes up in the air once again throwing even more muck onto the, uh, the sunglass protector. So apart from enjoying a much wider field of view with the TXO3 in the nose, um, I noticed it seemed slightly less stable. Now part of this could be the way I've, pla I've placed the 
V-Fly Beacon Locator on the nose on one side, it might be destabilizing it. Also the FPV camera is on an angle, I didn't know that was possible because it's just loosely packed with the nose, but uh, that probably doesn't help. But just then I, I noticed the tail drop, and I didn't have any tail drop at all with the, the new ESC board. So I'm looking forward to further testing. We're in for a, a patch of wild hot weather, so it'll probably be a while before I fly again. But uh, so far, I'm, I'm very happy with the mod. So this is just a little bit of footage to show the difference. Um, I'm noticing a bit of a shimmer in the footage, a little bit of jello. But there's a few things going on. Um, I've got slightly scratched prop, prop blades on this one. Um, yeah, plus the carbuncle on the nose, which you can see here when you compare the two of them. But a great flight.